Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to convert molar mass to atomic radius. Well, to begin with, one can't really do this since these are fundamentally different types of measures. Molar mass is defined in terms of a mass of your particle species. So one molar mass is equal to one unit of mass of your species divided by the number of moles, okay? So this, in biochemistry, is typically denoted in units of Daltons, in which one Dalton is equal to one gram per mole. And while a Dalton in biology and in physics is technically purely a unit of mass. In biochemistry, one can normalize this mass uh, by the number of moles that one is considering. So this is where we make the connection between molar mass and atomic radius. Because we know and understand the definition of a molar mass in terms of mass and the number of moles, then we can understand, uh, if we know how many moles we have, how much mass we have. And if we look at the periodic table of elements, we see that there are trends. So generally, as if you have an element, say a generic element E with some atomic mass and some element number Z, as the atomic mass increases, so too will the average size or average radius of the element. And this depends on several factors, including electron shielding, uh, the nuclear charge, if Z increases, for example, and uh, other features such as the energy level of the atom. If it's excited, it will generally have a larger atomic radius. But going back to the original question, in general, the larger the molar mass, the larger the mass of the element, the larger the atomic radius. But there is no equation to exactly solve for what this atomic radius would be. It depends on your conditions and the environment. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to convert molar mass to atomic radius.